McCoy was born male. We started noticing little things here and there about 18 months or so. I'm like going to Girl Scouts Tuesday. <laughs> when McCoy was little, everything was girly. She liked to wear dresses, she liked to dress up. When she started asking us, you know, when are we gonna get the doctors to cut her penis off? That was when it became a problem, and you know, we reassured her that we would do everything we could so that she would be happy as an adult. The parents of six-year-old Coy Mathis had filed a civil rights complaint against their child's school. She had been allowed to use the girls' washroom until recently, when the school's principal told her parents she could no longer do so. They referred to Coy as he and him, and he would be bothering the girls if he was in the bathroom because his genitals are gonna grow. I didn't really want it to get to the point where we needed to go to national media. Remember, look at the camera. Well, a six-year-old from Colorado now at the center of a media frenzy in a lawsuit for being transgender. If you're gonna go public with it, might as well just go the whole way. It's about Coy as a boy turning into a girl. I'm Wonder Woman. You're Wonder Woman? already all over the world. You can see a quick search online shows hundreds of articles just in the past few hours. By the age of five years old, she had transitioned from living as a boy to a girl, and everything seemed fine. I do feel like we're definitely under a microscope. It is a violation of the Colorado Anti-Discrimination Act to deny a transgender person access to the restroom that matches who they are. Should we do more? Should we stop? Where should we draw the line? It's really taken a lot out of the kids. I feel really sad. We don't want her to look back and see that we didn't stand up for her. You know, even if she disliked that we put her in the public eye, she could at least say, well, you know, my parents stood up for me and always supported me.